What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm dying again. Yay, sickness. Alright, so I promise to address OC fights in this commentary. So if you want to hear about it, wait till after I'm done talking about blah blah blah. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll talk about it now. Uh, I'm not gonna pull a screw attack on you. Anyways, about OC fights. I know a lot of people on my community and in videos have been requesting its return. And I'm going to tell you right now, it will come back, it will come back. I know it sounds like I'm making this up because it's been so long since I've done an OC Fights, but it will come back. The issue is, you know, this October, next month basically, I'm working on the month of fictional fights, like just celebrating the one year anniversary of the show. And I basically have four episodes I'm working it on at once right now. Well, three episodes now. It was Zim versus Camaro, the next fight, which is Buzz versus Fox. Uh, there's the GTA 5 Battle Royale that I announced in the last update. And there's one more special fight that I'm going to keep secret, but you already know about. Like, everyone knows it's going to happen. <laughs> because I've already announced it publicly multiple times. But for those who haven't heard, I'm keeping it suspenseful. So yeah, it's basically just the fact that I've been extremely busy with doing so many episodes at once. Usually I do two at the most, so I thought, hey, I can normally breeze through two episodes. This is easy. Maybe if I double up, it, I'll have a bit more to do, and I can still have some free time to do extra stuff. Nope, this is taking up all my time. So yeah, four episodes at once is not fun. But as soon as that special fight after Buzz vs. Fox is up, I'll definitely tr be doing my best to get back on track with the OC fights. Because I know a lot of you have been wanting it and missing it so bad. But don't worry, I'll get back to it when I'm less busy. Which will hopefully be after the special fight. <sighs> I can't breathe, my nose is clogged, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die. But yeah, that's the deal with OC fights. Basically, I'm just busy. I know I made it seem like a big deal, like a big reason to why it's not happening right now. But really, it's just because I'm pretty busy. So yeah, that's about it. That's about all. That's, that's all there is to know about OC fights. I'm just busy right now. I wish I could say more about it since you guys have been asking for it to come back after so long, but that's all I can really say is that I'm too busy trying to get stuff ready with the main show to work on the spin-off show. But that's not because of the regular schedule. It's because of the preparations for all the special stuff I was planning to do in October. So that that's it. I wish I could say more. I'm sorry, but that's that's the deal, yo. I'm just busy. So as for Zim vs. Kararo, this was a very fun episode for me to do. And to be honest, I really wish Kararo won, because I love Kararo way more than Zim. Because the humans actually do stuff and aren't just stupid. Like, the... The world of Kero is just very dumb-spirited. Like, you can have cartoons that are mean-spirited, but Kero's uni- I mean, Zim's cartoon is just dumb-spirited. Like, everyone is dumb except the main characters. So it does kind of get a bit tiring. And plus, Zim always kind of seem like just that typical Hot Topic scene kid type of cartoon. That's something I would probably watch till the day I die. Like, I like it now, and I really liked it when I was younger. But I can tell my interest for it is fading because it just seems like that normal hot topic thing. Like, it's good because it's edgy, whoa! I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Jean and Vasquez and his work. But, eh, Invader Zim to me just doesn't have that lasting factor like most cartoons do. As for Sergeant Frog, though, it makes me laugh every time. Even if I watched an episode that I've seen a million times already, it still makes me laugh like crazy. So Sergeant Frog to me is just timeless, which kind of is funny because it makes a lot of dated references that people won't get in 20 years, but eh, I like it. I like it more. Holy cow, I am dying. I honestly cannot breathe through my nose. This might be the short. This might be the shortest commentary ever. Hold on, I'm gonna take a breather for a few. Just, just a moment. I'll be back for the commentary. Ah. 
His jetpack can either fly him across the planet size of Earth in mere seconds. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. There's also durability. Zin can survive yeah, that didn't help at all. Entry and several crash landings. He wants even survive. So about Zim stuff, like for lice I did leave a lot of stuff out. Like I left out Caro's spoon and Dragon Caro, but I left out lots of Zim stuff, like the Mega Doomer, and you know just all that stuff. Still manages to fail against. It's. I tried to leave out the one episode stuff for the stuff that's seen very, very rarely that they don't bring into normal combat because these two have a lot of stuff to cover and half of it. Or 90% of it wouldn't change the outcome. So I just stuck with the pack and Caro Ball. Now I know Zim's only used his organ harvesting device in one episode, but it is like part of his pack. Kind of like the reactivation, so it counted. It's like kind of like the planet busting button on the Caro Ball. Like I included it, even though Caro only brought it up once. Uh, no, humans are the ones that look like... <laughs> Anyways, why didn't the, I use the Planet Busting Caro Ball for the fight? That's because I don't know how the Planet Busting function works on the Caro Ball because it's never been used before. Like, is it specifically designed to just destroy planets, or does it shoot a laser that destroys planets? Because if it shoots a laser that destroys planets, then yeah, he could have used it on Zim. But what if by destroy planet it means just dematerializing the planet, because it does have a materialization option, and it can dematerialize stuff, but... I was like, so does it actually destroy the planet or just dem dematerialize it? So I didn't know how the planet busting function worked, so I don't think I could have actually used it. And as for Dragon Caro and the spoons, for those who don't know, Caro has spoons that change his size. He can grow super big, but he, he would still lack the speed and destructive capacity to finish off Zim and both Dragon Caro and the Spoon thing. And plus, the Spoon isn't part of his standard arsenal. He doesn't carry it around everywhere he goes, like he does the Caraball. In fact, he doesn't even caro carry the Caraball everywhere he goes. Fayuki has it most of the time because he took it from Caro in, like, the first episode. And he just hangs on to it. I mean, Caro Kero sneaks it away every once in a while, but... Fuyuki mostly has it. So yeah. But it hasn't been used yet. Not much the whole Sergeant Frog thing is just kind of odd because it's such a big universe and some things get used so rarely and there's so many things to use. So I tried to use like his most standard arsenal, like the most standard arsenal possible for Kamaro. Just like I did for Zim, because lots of his stuff was one episode only. Like the laser he blew through the wall, or the organ harvesting device, or the, um, 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 or the reactivation. Those were all one episode's things, but they were functions of his pack, which he has with him all the time, so I was like, you know what, that's fine. Uh, next fight, Buzz vs. Star Fox. I am including vehicles, so Fox gets his R-Wing and Buzz gets his Star Cruiser. Um, because lots of versus debate shows have used Fox, but have only done him on foot. And I'm like, you know what, his specialty is in the air. Let's 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 bring up his ships too. See who's also the better pilot. So yeah, Buzz and Fox will. I don't know if they'll be using their ships in the animated fight, but I will be including their vehicles in the research. So you can expect that. And plus, for those who are wondering, I'm using the cartoon Buzz and not the toy Buzz. There is a Buzz Lightyear from a cartoon that is actually a fully fleshed out character and not just some plastic toy. So no, Fox could not win just by stepping on Buzz. For those people who think that I'm using the toy. So yeah, I didn't know how to explain Caro's Toon Force because it makes him extremely inconsistent. It's crazy. Oh, and you may notice that a lot of the stuff I'm pulling out for Caro's analysis is stuff that's written on the Versus Battles Wiki Caro page. Now, normally, I don't just rip stuff from Versus Battles Wiki unless it's like super good calculations and stuff. Because I like to rely on my own research of the character and my own tiering of them. Like, if a certain character is city block level, but I found like a feat that I believe to be mountain level, then I'll believe them to be mountain level. Even though on versus battles wiki, it'll say like city block level. So it'll be like, nah. 
able to replicate what he I'll just provide my own research and evidence to why I believe that. But if you're wondering why I nearly copied Kararo's page word for word, it's because I'm actually the author of Kararo's page on Versus Battles Wiki. Yeah, that's how much you can tell. That's how much. That's how you can tell I really like Kararo. I was the very person who wrote his page on Versus Battles Wiki. So that's why. Okay, the okay, okay, analysis for camera row here is so similar to that page. But anyways, that's it for the commentary. I don't want to listen to my cringy camera row voice, or cringy Zim voice acting that I had to do because I couldn't find a suitable voice actor. Uh, but next episode, we'll have an animation. I got Rampage Animations. He's awesome. See you next time. Bye-bye.